Substrate test update. World, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing great. So today I'm going to share with you an update, a quick update on the substrate test rack that I've been doing. I made a video about this. It has a dirt Eco complete, eco complete coconut fiber and sand, and I was just test and also under one rows T5s, one rows LEDs. So there's some variables there, and yeah, so it's time to do an update on that, and let's get to it. All right, time to do an update on this, and tell you guys what I'm gonna do with the rest of these, and what I ended up deciding. Now, I just did a video on how I made my own dirt. And some of you guys may have seen. If you haven't seen it, I will put it at the end of this video and link it into the description. It's not even been a week. It's only been like four or five days since I started this. And the fish are doing pretty well. Uh, they're all still alive, so I'm happy about that. I figured they would be. I've instant cycled tanks many a times. Look at this guy. He's freaking awesome. Especially when he flares up. I've got to get some more of these. Get these things breeding. This would be cool in a huge school. Imagine a 125 full of those things. I just have a problem. Like where am I going to put them because of those fins? I'm afraid somebody will nip on them. But anyways. Back to these. Back to the substrate. This is the dirted tank here. You can see this leaf's been growing really nice. This new growth already opening up. And at the very bottom here, you can see another one about to grow up. This white Anubius is about to throw in a couple new leaves. It's really hard to see against that one, but there's one riding up against it. Stem plants have been growing some inches. Now over here in the coconut and eco complete, I ended up throwing some dwarf neon rainbows in here. I got a little new growth on the Barclaya. It's kind of going slow. It does have a flower that started opening up, which is really cool. And it's also got a couple flowers up top, which it already had these flowers. And the stem plants um they don't have a whole lot of new growth they got a little bit but not much not quite like not quite like on the dirt and over here in just the eco complete this plant is this has new growth already down here and this leaf has also grown quite a bit as well almost as well as the dirt and looks like this is starting to take hold stem plants got a little growth and then in the sand i've got a little more growth here on this lotus looks like another leaf trying to sprout out the dwarf sage is liking it. Those dead leaves are shedding, but it already has new growth coming up and out of the middle. So that's good. The hydrocotyl is liking it. So this lily and this lily is the same. And this one has a little new growth here. And a little new growth there. And also a new one. So it's grown about a, the same as the sand. And the eco complete almost. Now I am fertilizing these tanks with potassium and iron. Alternating each day. So every, all the tanks are at least getting some mineralization. And the flame moss still just chilling. Up here I ended up playing in a mo main eye because I had this in my 125 it was down here over here with the barbs and the rainbow fish and they were constantly nipping at it and eating it so I had to save it I had room 
put it in there. But I'm hoping that'll bounce back because I'm trying to keep a hold of that. The mermaid weed, still a little growth, not a whole lot. Not a bunch to write home to mom about. And this is the rhizo mat. And up there is the hydrocotyl and it still looks like it's doing pretty good. No inhabitants in this tank yet. Glossa's been slow, or the minuta is slow growing, but that's what minuta does. Grow slow unless you got a bunch of it. And up in this dirted tank, with the I ended up throwing some buches in there, and and in this dirted tank, we had the schluteri, which looks like it's doing really good. It's already got another new leaf coming out. That was the one we saw grow right in front of our eyes in the last video. And it's really liking it. It's starting to take off. And the buche has a lot of nice new growth on the bottom here already, too. And the hydrocotyl's doing great in there. And I have red waponga laser rainbow fish in here. So if that's not saying anything about my instant cycle jump start that I use with that mulmy water. That I would trust throwing these fish in. Like that's how I'm sh how sure I am about it. But this is what we're going to do. I've got the dirt. And these tanks. With the dirt. Have inspired me so much. That I'm going to end up putting dirt in this tank. Dirt in that tank. Dirt in that tank. Dirt in that tank. And dirt in that tank. And I'm probably not even going to cap them all. I'm not sure yet. We'll see as we go along. But I may just do dirt and see what happens. I know it'll muck up and stuff like that. But, I mean, it should settle. And I'll have uh, snails and maybe placos in there to help counterbalance it. Alright, so there you have it for the quick update on the substrate test track. I am planning on coming out with another update for you guys here pretty soon. Uh, a lot has actually changed with it I'll give you a quick glimpse now i ended up having to throw some meds in it and some things happen i got some good things i got some bad things but i did want to go through it and share with you guys what was going on so you guys can get a kind of an idea of do's and don'ts and stuff like that and just share my experience with you guys I got a bunch of stuff going on in here about to get ready on my new rack which I'm excited about I'll have a video about that later on too but either way I hope you guys enjoy maybe I learned something trying to take you on these experiments with me dehumidifiers going off whatever that'll happen when you got five of them around the fish room but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed until next time everybody peace <laughs>